You just got Maine's first reaction to liking sushi. <laughs> Ring drama. January and we wanted to get it insured. The insurance company said that we need to get it appraised so they know the value, the pricing and all of that. We had no idea how to do that or like how to go about it. So he asked his jeweler where to send it and she said it's familiar with the company so she could kind of send it in which I thought was weird. At the same time I was like okay like we need to get it engraved anyway and she was gonna do it. We gave it to her so to kill two birds with one stone get it engraved and appraised. We sent it to her and then like two weeks go by and she emailed Mark, I'm so sorry, but when the appraisal came back, amount of incorrect. carrots, yeah, was incorrect. It was only half of what she sold Mark. And then we were like, what the fuck? She offered three options. Partial refund for the missing, the missing amount. Should be 50%. Yeah, which should be 50%. Oh, but it was literally like, or a full refund and then we can just ring. get a new ring. The third option was for her to make a new ring, same design but with just the correct amount of diamonds or correct carrots. I really like the ring, I just want the right amount. So that's what we chose and she said it would take uh, honestly four to five weeks and I was like okay that's fine that means we would get it back in March and it's supposed to be the beginning of March because we sent it out like oh yeah you're right it was supposed to take four to five weeks which is like beginning to mid-March but it ended up taking almost two months honestly so I had my ring for two weeks two months I didn't have it and then we just got it like last week the process was also iffy and sus because she was going back and forth with Mark. A lot of things were not making sense with the new ring design. Yeah, she amount of carrots again. She misquoted the amount of diamonds and also like the color and clarity were off too. It went down. Yeah, like worse. So we kept on going back and forth with her and hey, walk us through why it what changed it of what you were trying to sell or market when Mark bought it. We finally agreed the final ring design with the right amount of carrots and the right clarity and color that she advertised. With GIA certifications. The or GIA. Only like two of them, or one of, one of three or two of three, had the GIA certifications. Yeah. And I was like, why is that? Like, what's going on? Like, why are you not giving us a certification? Mm -hmm. So, I guess that made it longer, but then that's not our fault, that's her fault. We got it back, everything checked out to what we confirmed in the final design and this is it but the only thing is 
Yeah, there's one more thing. I don't know if you can really see. With the band. The size he got was a size 6. Like, the original ring was a size 6. And then when she was telling us through the email, like, the process, it became 5.5. I and I was like, mm, maybe it was 5.5, but she's she like 6. Like, I, we it. really couldn't tell anymore what was real or not. Like because everything was, on the listing was basically inaccurate. Yeah. But anyway, my ring size is a little small now. Like, it's tight. Not uncomfortably tight, but it's the winter time where, like, it's cold out, so it's, it's like, just, it's literally perfect. I'm scared because I heard in the summer, fingers expand a little bit, so I feel like it's going to be so freaking tight in the summer. So we're eventually going to have to send it out again. Yeah, we're probably going to have to, sense. but I don't want to go through her again because I don't want to deal with her anymore. And not anytime soon either because we just got a bag. Exactly. It was just so sucky because for two months, I was seeing so many people and they were all congratulating me and I didn't have my ring. So now we have a ring back and then Loki. I wanted to check the website to see if she put the other one back on the market, and it is, and she's still marketing it as the amount of carrots it should be, but it's not. So I don't know what she's trying to do. I know we didn't mention the brand. I don't want to get sued, one, I don't want anyone sending hate or stuff like that if anyone ever sees this. I'm just gonna hope this is like, this was a one-time thing. That's the story. And there's my ring. I love it. But yeah, now we're on the way home from Pittsburgh. We visited Maine. Did a pit stop at Falling Water, which is a Frank Lloyd Wright house that he designed. Most iconic house. Today's weather was crazy good. I miss Sire.